Hey everybody, it's just your friendly neighborhood YouTuber Doug Polk. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of all of these Debbie Downers talking about what's going wrong in the world. Sure, we might have a problem or two, but everyone's complaining all the time. Social media, people complaining. News, people complaining. Politics, people complaining. Everyone's complaining everywhere. It's getting downright unbearable. I mean, at least before this whole thing, people were only complaining on social media and in the news and in politics. Hmm. But as far as I'm concerned, today's just gonna be another great day at my house again. And that feel good spirit brings me to my first story today. Did you guys know that in Italy there's a bank where you can deposit wheels of cheese as collateral for loans? And if you do decide to use these guys, you'll be laughing all the way to the bank. There's no denying it. This bank acts for the greater good. And that's the kind of hard hitting reporting that people aren't willing to do these days. What about, for example, how the lottery is still open? Meaning that you still have that same very chance at not winning it. While we're in the gambling vein, apparently online poker has been popping off over the last week or two. And if everyone's getting some free money, that's only going to get even better. Which means there's never been a better time to make poker videos on YouTube. This is fine. But that's not all. If sports betting's more your speed, people have been betting on a variety of games that are still happening today. For example, League of Legends matches or NBA games from the 80s. Although I would say you probably want to avoid betting on NBA games that already happened in the 80s. The 90s were way more interesting. But you might be sitting there thinking to yourself, Doug, this is all great news, but I'm your average everyday straight edge guy. This stuff just doesn't apply to me. Don't worry there, buddy. I've got just the thing. How about a little traveling to put your mind at ease? I mean, flights to Wuhan have never looked cheaper. Or you could take a little trip to Venice. In fact, the water in Venice has never been cleaner. Recently, a dolphin was actually spotted in the water there. Although if you could, you might consider delaying that trip just a little bit. I mean, do your own thing, but you might consider it. Maybe those locations aren't in the cards, but what about right here in the good old US of A? You have some great options here as well. Day-to-day -day rush hour traffic has almost ceased to exist. In fact, rumor has it the traffic in California has become so good, it's almost worth living there. And have I mentioned how much you're gonna save at the pump? You'll never be so pumped to put gas in your car. Just make sure you wash your hands afterwards thoroughly. Another great aspect of this is you get to spend more time with your loved ones doing things you might not normally get to do together. Like for example, cutting someone's hair before they do a YouTube video. Actually, to be totally honest, I think Caitlin did a pretty good job. I, I was expecting worse than this, so I'll consider myself lucky. There are other options for things you might not normally get to do together. For example, play video games with a loved one. Which is why I tweeted this out the other day and asked you guys what would be a good game to play and you guys told me Overcooked 2. And I just have to say, why would you do that to someone? I'm also getting a little sick and tired of hearing about everyone complain about their job that they lost. Yeah, sure, maybe you don't have a job anymore, but on the bright side, you also don't have to wear pants. And for some people, you're just gonna get to take a quick few months off. It'd be like your boss saying, hey, John, how about you take a quick 83 day weekend? All you gotta do now, John, is figure out what you're gonna spend those 83 days on. And might I recommend watching your favorite YouTuber make videos on the internet, or perhaps share those videos with your friends. Not that anyone needs to feel better right now, but happiness sure is contagious. At this point, you're probably thinking there can't possibly be more good news, but there is. Major League Baseball still hasn't started. I'd love to say that baseball will be a running joke on the channel, but it would be more like a standing around one. Moving over to finance, we're hearing talks of things we've never heard before. Like for example, a $1 trillion coin. I wonder what it would look like. Nifty. We're also seeing your average everyday American step up to the plate and say they're willing to make a change. Like for example, Jason Gilbert tweeted, I am a proud Trump supporter and I will gladly die on the job at Foot Locker if it means the Dow goes up 0.3%. But I did a little sleuthing and it turns out this guy is a blue check mark and he works on the Daily Show. I'm thinking this guy might not work at Foot Locker after all. I'm also gonna have to mention how well the Dow Jones has been doing lately. No, that's the wrong graph. Show, show the other, there you go. Makes you think, doesn't it? On that point, people have been saying it's too expensive to get into the stock market for a long time. Now we have great cheap stocks to choose from. In fact, on that note, 
I'm gonna get involved right now. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to make some transactions today. I was looking to pick up some some stocks. Oh. But I thought there. Oh. Oh man. So how? Mhm. Mm Ooh. <clears throat> Getting ready to buy as we speak. However, many companies have been doing great during this crisis. So you gotta look. You gotta look for solutions when things get bad. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. So here are some examples of businesses that have fought their way through. For example, Netflix, Zoom, Fake Zoom, Bob's Coffins, and of course, hedge funds. Nice to see those guys catch a break. Not only are the people of the world realizing, hey, this is fine, so are politicians, which is why Chuck Schumer said that right now, it's like we're on the two yard line. He wasn't exactly clear on which two yard line, but I'm gonna hope it's the one near my opponent's end zone. Also, the two yard line's a great analogy because when you're on the two yard line, especially in the fourth quarter in a well-known Super Bowl, we all know what's gonna happen. Yep, you score a touchdown. That's what we were all thinking. Another great aspect to this is it's hard to be bored at home because frankly, you could be watching some of the amazing daytime programming. There's also been a notable sharp decline in mass shootings. Who knew that it turns out we didn't need to get rid of the guns at all. We just had to get rid of the people. One of the most amazing parts of this has been seeing the true brilliance of the human mind, creativity in ways we never thought possible. People dug deep and came through with their best. And their best is inspiring and changing the world and making us look at things a little bit differently. Look at things we didn't think we'd look at before. I'm not sure exactly what those things that we're looking at are, but we're looking at them. And people are excited about this. They are, you can't deny it. Look at this, for example, people lining up to celebrate. At least, I think they're celebrating. Why else would they be at the liquor store? Elon Musk also came through on his promise and gave a thousand ventilators. But why would we need those on such a great day like this one? YouTubers are also making out like bandits during this. Everyone's at home and they've got to watch something. So YouTubers are making piles of cash. At least they are in theory when all of their videos aren't being demonetized. And finally, even prisoners are catching a break here. Some are being let out for nonviolent crimes and some are Wait, what is, I don't think this is good. This doesn't, I don't like this. This doesn't look good. I'm starting to think it's not all positives today. No, is, they're gonna, they're gonna get away. That's it. Look guys, I know times are tough. I know that there's a lot of fear out there and there's plenty of things that we can be afraid about, but keep your wits about you. It's about making the best decisions you can. You don't always get to control the results. So for this one, I'm gonna keep my eyes on the positive things. And sure, we're gonna have to cover the negative things every now and then on this channel, but I wanna cover issues that really make you think. Questions like, what am I going to call the news section of my show? You know, stuff that really matters. I'm not psychic, so I can't tell you how long this entire shebang is going to go on for. But what I can say is, as long as I've got you guys a nice glass of whiskey, I'm going to be just fine. Wait, what's this? Distillers turn whiskey and gin into hand sanitizer. Okay, never mind. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific. Also, I really appreciate the feedback I get on the videos. Tell me things you like and don't like so I can do a better job of improving my videos for the future. Also, if you do like a video, make sure to like and share it so that they can gain some traction. Appreciate it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.